Clemson Tiger fans, welcome back to the Clemson Sports Show. And I am joined by a special guest today, the latest addition to Clemson's 2022 class, Miles Oliver. Miles, how does it feel to officially be a Clemson Tiger? It was great. It was great. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Well, well talk to me a little bit about it. You committed to Clemson uh, earlier today on Sunday. What led to Clemson coming out on top for you? Um, the coaches, the campus, it's all that type of stuff. So you speak about the coaches and the campus. You got to see all of that in person this past weekend. You took an official visit to Clemson. Talk to me about that whole experience. What was it like for you? Um, it was great talking to the coaches, getting to know them, um, getting to look around the campus, the dorms. The dorms are really nice. The campus is really nice. I really like it. So one of the coaches that you got to speak with was Mike Reed. Uh, he, he was the person who established contact with you last month. Talk to me about Coach Reed, who he is as a person, as a coach, all of that. He's a real cool, funny person. And I can tell he's a great coach. Um, um, he, I like how he grades all his players, make sure they're doing their stuff right. And, Speaking of the players, which player did you get to get hosted by this this weekend? Um, JP, the safety. Okay, okay. So, so talk to me about being able to be hosted by him, and then also spending time with the players in general. What did they tell you about Clemson? Things like that. Um, they were all cool. Um, they said Clemson is a really good school, with really good coaches, and we just hung out and had fun. What was like the highlight of the visit for you? You know, what, what did you get to do that really stood out to you? Um, getting toward a locker room, putting the equipment on. That's what really I like. What did it feel like to put on that orange jersey? <laughs> it felt good. It was... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you talked about the coaches, uh, you know, the, the, the campus, seeing all of that. That led to your decision. What other factors led to the Tigers coming out on top so soon in your recruitment because you just got offered by them on Saturday. Why did you feel like now was the right time? Um, I just, I don't know, I just, I just really liked Clemson like when I was a little kid and when they offered me, I was like, I got it from here. You mentioned that you like the state of South Carolina before in one of our previous interviews. Uh, is that still the case? Because I'm I'm looking outside my apartment right now. There's a lot of snow there. Um, yeah. <laughs> did you like that weather when you were there? It was good. We left before it started snowing. Awesome. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, well, let's re let's rewind just a little bit. So contact with Clemson didn't start until what was it like the middle of December, sometime around then. Mm -hmm. what did coach Reed say to you during those initial conversations did you did he kind of hint at an offer you know what was that like with him initially um but he was just he was calling me pretty much every day every other day we just been talking getting to know each other having conversations talking about the visit and all that stuff so and you had no conversations with Clemson before then before coach Reed hit you up no I see you announced on Christmas that you were going to be taking the official this weekend, uh, January 14th through the 16th. Uh, did you did you know during that time when you scheduled that official that an offer was likely? Because Clemson doesn't ho play host to anybody for official visits. So did Reed kind of give you an indication then? Uh, yes. So, so even though this – commitment happened a day after getting the offer do you feel like it's kind of been in the works just a little bit like did you know a couple of weeks ago that you could be getting an offer and that you may potentially commit to Clemson if that was the case yes yeah, so I, I felt that an offer was coming kind of felt it. sweet man and, and not only that you got an offer from Georgia Tech a couple of weeks ago they're the in-state school uh, can you talk about why Clemson was able to beat out uh, the, the Yellow Jackets, a school that, you know, one, like I said, it's an in-state school you're fairly close to? Um, I just 
I like the culture better. Like I've really messed with Coach Reed and I really I really like the campus too. So that's why they beat out for the tech. Absolutely, man. Um what with Coach Reed, you, you talked about being able to be around him. You really you really like him as a person, as a coach. Talk to me about his history of developing cornerbacks and what you feel like he can do with your skill set. Well, his history of cornerbacks, he put a lot of cornerbacks in the NFL. So with my skill set, I'm hoping he does the same to me. So talk to me about your skill set for any Clemson fans who haven't been able to see you play. What do you bring to the table, Miles? Um, a lot of speed, um, athleticism. Uh, ball skills, technique, scrub brain. So, so you made first team for your for your division um, there there in Georgia, class six A. Can, can you talk to me about that? What was your reaction to being named first team in a division that featured future Alabama wide receiver Isaiah Bond, future NC State quarterback signee MJ Morris? What did that mean to you? Uh, it felt good making first team all state, knowing that. I was one of the best in the state for my classification. That's awesome, man. Um, and, and did you know that you're the first uh, first player from Georgia to commit to Clemson in their 2022 class? No, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, you're the only one from the Peach State. Does that does that kind of mean something to you too? Um, you know, being the first f- first from Georgia to commit to Clemson this class. Yeah, it means a lot to know that I am. Speaking of this class, you know, Clemson lost a, a few commitments last month, but they, they still signed a solid group of 12 players in December. What, what do you think about the future, the potential for this 2022 class that you're now a part of? Um, I think that we're going to be great. You know, we're going we're gonna to do really good. Right. Be one of the top in the nation. Love it, man. Last thing, Miles. Miles Oliver, newest commit to the Clemson Tigers. What's your message to Clemson's fan base? Um, we're going to get after it. We're going we're gonna... <laughs> <laughs> to. Awesome, <laughs> awesome, awesome. Miles, thank you for your time today, man. Congrats on committing to Clemson, and good luck getting on campus in the summer. Thank you.